Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to... Sorry about that chair. Welcome back to World of Tanks Generals. This is your somewhat lovely host, New to Nation BT, and today we're playing some Utherbog. Again, sorry about that chair. Nothing I can do about that chair. It's annoying. Oh, my cat is also annoyed. So, hey, we're against another Utherbog. But sadly, we're going second, so that's a bit unfortunate. Just a little bit unfortunate. <coughs> Going second against you generally means you lose. It's generally how it works. You're probably going to lose. Don't discard. No! No, that's exactly what I was like. We don't need to discard that. But no, 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 no. Of course. Of course it's what gets hit, you know? I mean, what, what, what else? What else could get hit? Strength and slight. We're going to have to just pitch this. Would have been nice to draw a Panzer two, but that's not a possibility here, I guess. I mean, we're hitting one harder than he is, but that one harder doesn't matter too much. Doesn't matter too much at all. Oh, that's good. He didn't have a real play there. So we are going to play together. We win. And just hope he doesn't have one. But he's probably going to win just from, you know, going first. But that's generally how these games work. Is, look, we have him down to one shot. He has us down to two. If he has together, we win. Or just four damage in hand, he wins. He wins with four damage in hand or that. Or that, yeah, that that works too. Actually, that works wonderfully. Yep, that is game. Probably, unless we draw a Panzer two. Um, still game. Pretty sure. We kill this. Take two damage. He does four. Yeah, that's game. We lost just because we went second, and that's. That's what playing Uterbog does. You lose when you go second. It's annoying, but oh well. I mean, I, I realize the risk that is Uterbog. Right, we'll do another one. And we're back. We'll probably do like um, four of these, because that was about like five minutes. Yay, we're going first. That guy didn't discard Luke, so we would have been in a much better place too. This hand's kind of bad. We're going to pitch it, hope for something better. We had a good hand that last game. He just had a Panzer two. <laughs> yeah, it's actually how it tends to work. Going to blitz. <coughs> Going to play the bikers. Play the logistics, and we're going to hit four six. Hitting four six was pretty okay, pretty okay. First turn, yeah, that's that's fine. He's down to fifteen. I'm happy with that number. I'm very happy with that number. We did eight damage to him. Eight damage to him. First turn, pretty good. Pretty good. That's somewhat demoralizing, probably. Somewhat demoralizing. I'm guessing. He actually has eight resources, I hope. I hope that he doesn't actually have just one. Hopefully that's just a visual bug. Just a visual bug, and I hope he realizes that it's probably just a visual bug. He probably has eight. I'm hoping he has eight. Otherwise, things would be annoying. Things would really be annoying. Because then he'd be like, oh, you're, you're clearly a hacker, rah, 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 and I'd be like, no, I'm not, I'm literally recording this. I mean, this game's full of things like that, though. It'd be nice if WG fixed them. Really nice if WG fixed them. Come on, play anything. Like seriously, anything is a good play. See, he has he has eight. 
He has eight. He's fine. He's fine. We'll move that back there so he can't actually remove both of them. He can't remove both of them now. So we'll see which one he goes for. Which he goes for. He doesn't have support so both of them can't actually go away. They can't both go away so that's good. We'll have six resources for next turn even though we won't need it. Nothing costs that many resources in this deck. Highest cost card in here as you know is together we win. So I mean nothing costs six. Should maybe throw some bison in here instead of the T fifty seven. That is a direct upgrade. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. I think I actually do have bison bot, possibly? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If not, it'll actually up our rating. Playing Uterbog, getting high rating, like upping your rating when playing Uterbog is quite impressive. When you have like a thousand games and you're playing low power Uterbog. Hopefully this guy plays faster, eh? Hey. I mean, I play Ute for a fast game, buddy, not, not this. Not taking all your turn to play, but I guess he kind of assumes he has all the time in the world. Because he's never going to run out of it against us. Because we have to win soon. Because look, we have five cars for Chevy. <sighs> sorry about that yawn. Also, sorry about not streaming at all this week. I was not feeling up to it. Like, I'm having some digestive issues. And, ugh, it's horrible. It's really horrible. It's just like, uh... Like, I'd be having to, like, get up every, like, couple, like, 40 minutes or so if I was streaming, and just, that'd be pretty boring, and wow, wow, he actually didn't, oh, we'll just take our victory, I guess, guess we'll just take our victory, even though, I guess he DC'd or something. I guess I'll show this because it's still Ute gameplay actually. I mean, sad thing about Ute is even when you're playing DCs, you still can see most of the game. So, yeah, I guess someone can use that. On to the next one. Maybe I'll put Bison in. And we're back against another Ute. Sorry, it's like 20 seconds in. OBS was stupid. It's the best way to describe it. It's a pretty solid hand. We're going to keep this. Hoping, yeah, perfect, perfect. He played right into our trap card. ha 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 ha! You have activated our trap card. <laughs> Although he hasn't, so I mean, it's it's okay. Is this the same Ute that we fought last time, going second? This is so we're we're about to beat him pretty pretty badly. We're about to really just beat him. We did eight damage to him, yeah. Yeah, eight damage. Eight damage is not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Next turn, we're about to do ten. Maybe eleven. Ten or eleven damage. That's really the nice thing about Ute, is when you have Artie against it, it just it just doesn't remove the Artie. It just doesn't remove that Artie, and it's great. It's just great. I love that. I love that about it. It's great more than good it's great it's great all right so he has a gunner's opening that's good that's good gunner's is pretty good opening no 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 why does it have to discard the card that's more valuable well i lost a 50 50 that's to be expected though i 
Always lose 50-50s. But hey, I drew a Panzer too. Hopefully he loses a 50-50 if he has one. That matters, at least. I'm hoping that he does. Hoping that he discard like a Panzer II or a Together We Win. Together We Win or Panzer II would be excellent. Now, watch me. Watch him beat me. Just, yeah, just watch. He, he beats me because he just draws so well and it'll be super annoying. Be super aggravating. Yeah, like, like that, actually. Didn't discard his Panzer II, clearly. Hang on a second. Why would I do that when I can do this? That's a good draw. There we go. There we go. We're looking good. Just we need him not to have it together. We win, or really that, I guess. How? What? what the, how does he have a tier five card in here? It's really high tier really high tier card, buddy. How are you fitting that in this deck? Probably just a one of. That's pretty high power. Okay, we're, we don't have anything nearly that high in this deck. We don't have any tier 5s, I don't think. Like his Lukes is our highest at tier 4, so he must not be running Lukes's and must just be running like one of those. And That would be possible, actually. That would be very possible, actually. Maybe I should try that. No, I probably shouldn't try that. It's probably less consistent. But yeah, I can see why you'd want that in your Uter Bog, because it's probably pretty good in Uter Bog. Oh, we're probably winning this. Yeah, we won. There we go. That was much closer than I'd like it to be, but yeah, he discarded the together we win, so it's a lot of damage he removed from our hand. No, I didn't add Bisons because I don't have them unlocked, and I don't want to use free XP on that. But maybe I will. All right, got one more. We're back against a fourth. Wonder if that's the same fourth. It might be actually. I mean, technically, we can play all of these, but, you know, I think I kind of want something maybe better. Yeah. Maybe better would be a, you know, good idea. Maybe not having three pans or twos against a fourth is a solid idea because it's not a great card against the fourth. Although this hand's not much better, if I'm if I'm completely honest with you. This hand is not much better. Well then. That was one of the two cards I didn't want to be discarded. Well, that was kind of the one I did want to discard now. I would have preferred to discard these two, so I could have, you know, together we won last next turn not last turn but next turn but yeah yeah <laughs> who cares about my dreams nobody nobody clearly cares about my dreams obviously hoping to draw strength and slight strength and slight would be a good draw here or a luke's or help for the front into a luke's maybe maybe would be okay maybe a we are coming i don't know Maybe a Steel Fist. I mean, anything that costs two would be pretty good. Maybe something that costs three would be good. Gunners would be good. Good first draw. Gunners would be. Yeah. Gunners would be a great first draw. Hub for the front is in here just because it cycles mostly and it heals a bit. I mean, if I could find another card that was, like, low enough tier, like, pretty low tier and, you know, killed people, I would enjoy that. We'll just play this, actually, since we're not planning on playing anything else. We'll just play that. Just play it. 
We don't have an aggressive enough start, is the problem. Our start is not nearly aggressive enough, but neither is his. His isn't that aggressive either, although he's kind of more aggressive than us, actually, like, HQ-wise. HQ-wise, this is a lot more aggression coming out of him than out of us. It's a lot more aggression out of him than out of us. Why didn't he attack? Wonderful question, isn't it? So we will Luke's. As we plan to play this. Maybe we'll be okay because we have drawn a lot of direct damage. We've done 8 damage to him with orders and units, I guess. By units, I mean the Luke's. <laughs> Luke's. Fear it. Fear the mighty Luke's. Fear the mighty Luke's. Thousands upon thousands would be nice right here. It'd be very nice right here, actually. Because it would do four damage to him and clear his stupid scouts. And clear his stupid scouts. And yeah, they are stupid. They're very stupid. Here we go. Wish I would have drawn an offensive squad here, but, you know. You generally don't ever get what you want. You never get what you want. So, so yeah. I mean, I'm sure he would love to not be at 2 HP right now against a Uterbog. Is that a dangerous place to be at? Really dangerous place to be at. There's a lot of cards in this deck that just deal 2 damage. We have Steel Fist. We have Luke's. We have We Are Coming. We have pretty much all of the cards that deal 2 damage directly. So... Being at two against us is not good. Not good at all, because that pretty much means anything we draw will kind of, you know, cause him to lose. Pretty much anything we draw can cause him to lose, even if he draws something defensive. But no, we don't even need to draw anything now. So we won the slowest Uterbog game in history. This was literally the slowest Uterbog game ever recorded, I'm sure. Oh, now we draw an offensive squad. Th thanks for your contribution of absolutely nothing, telegraphers. Cause you're absolutely useless. So, yeah, we dealt exactly 39 damage. 39 damage. A couple of damage from there, yeah. Alright, so, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. As always, leave your feedback in the comment section. I do hope you enjoyed this. I love you all, I hope you have wonderful days, and I'll see you next time.